Right, so I'm back and it's uh, Sunday afternoon and right now I'm um, I'm actually in my car Oh, and parked outside a supermarket because I, my wife asked me to uh, run some errands and it might just take 10 minutes more than she'd expect because uh, I'm sneaking in this game of um, of World Cup football and Championship Manager 97-98 Right, so Denmark game, here we come. Huh. That's uh, one of the advantages of having this game on a phone. I can just take a short game whenever I want. And right now I've got peace and quiet in my car, so why not take advantage of that. Right, so next game is um, well, a bit harder than the one against South Africa, presumably. Colombia on the 19th. And it shouldn't take too long to um, advance to that game. So we'll see some of the other results along the way. Germany with a big win against Mexico. And no surprises there. Jan Heinze, that's that's not very good because he's actually the only real left back that I have. Um, I've also got the the backup guy Morten Falk from FC Copenhagen. So I guess I'm going to have to go with him. Right. I don't know why that keeps popping up. Brazil winning again. And now we're back to uh, Group A, as you could probably tell. So means all the teams have played the f their first matches and in Group A and, and B are playing the second matches before I play mine. This is Group B. So Group A looks like this. Brazil in the lead. Group B, France. And then we've got Argentina. That's the next games. And then my group. So let's see how it goes. Norway beating England. Um, maybe you noticed when I when you when you saw me show you the screen with uh, the fixture fixture list that uh, I beat England in a friendly uh, four nil in an away game just before the World Cup. They're really not doing very well, and now they're losing to Norway. So. That might be an, an early, yeah, an early exit for England. They probably, probably lost all their confidence after being beaten savagely by the Danes. Is what I imagine. So, everyone's ready for the game. The previous match went pretty well. For everyone involved, so I guess the only change that I'm making is uh, the left back, where I'm going to need uh, the other guy. What? What? He's only right and center. I thought I actually thought he could play left as well, so I'm left without left back and that's a big problem um, so I'm going to probably have to go with him anyway and then I have a couple of the other ones that can play lots of 
positions. I don't know about Thomas Graves and in, in the real world he he would be quite good as a left back, so maybe I should try him. Uh, why not? Let's have some fun. And just go with Morten Falk. And then we can take this guard along for the ride. And go like this with Helvig as a captain. Same stuff as as yesterday. I don't know why I picked that guy for free kicks. It looks like a mistake. Miller. Oh, that's because probably I wanted sand. Mm. Yeah. Peter Muller in the last game. Lots of shots on target, but only about half of them actually on target, but he made three assists. What? That's quite amazing. So I can't really... I would have liked to use sand, but... Um, probably not a good idea when the other guy just scores goals like that. I think I'll go like this, that, and then see. And then make it work this time. Let's get to it. Right. Off we go. Not the way I had planned it. Thomason to the rescue. So, we're doing okay, but it's all square, 1-1, one, one. Graveson is not doing too bad, it's probably not the worst solution in the world. Right, but I'm not too impressed by Anderson today, and Mahler is, isn't hitting anything. So I'm just going to um, get rid of him. He's got a yellow card anyway. Have a sand. Um, let's get him playing. And Nelson injured. Oops. Right. That's uh, Peter Nelson and and. Um, I'm going to need probably Bjarne Goldbeck to step in. Hmm. A little bit too much excitement for me. I really would like to win this game because uh, the last one should be the hardest game so it would just be nice to have everything um, in order before that match so let's go
No, 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 no. We just knew that would end up in a goal. That's 2-1 to Colombia. Right. So now we're in trouble. Sand. Nope. No luck. And I think I'm going to have to see what I can do to change this. Henrik Andersen and Graveson. See, Graveson is not doing all that well, so I'm just going to get Morten Falk in there and Graveson. I'll get him playing in, in a position where he's more used to playing. Morten Falk is going to have to um, do the left back. And then, no more changes. It's a bit early to uh, to do that, to, to use the last substitution that I have available. So uh, I'm hoping that I won't get any any injuries. Come on! Right, just one goal, please. Come on. Thomas and Sand. See. <sighs> Michael Loudrop. Oh no. This is not turning out too great. Maybe it's just karma for me just because I snuck in this game of championship manager and I was just supposed to go grocery shopping got a whole list and everything I wasn't supposed to take this long this is the wrong result stats show that um, we actually did well but I don't know maybe it was the thing with the, the left back that did it for me but didn't go didn't turn out well. Belgium won the other match, which means that I'm in second place. And Colombia is almost sure of advancement to the next round, so I guess um, we're in for an exciting match against Belgium. They've got players like Shields to build and Luke Nilis and so on. Oh shit, they've got Michel Prudhomme. He's really old. He's a really good keeper as well, so. And uh, Mark Emmers. And Mpensa. Young. And promising. Wow. So. Well, I guess we'll do that next time. So. See if I can turn off. Peter Nielsen now for a week. Too late to replace him. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna save this and see if I can turn this uh, recording off. <laughs> Maybe a bit more elegantly than the last time. <laughs>